J ハット塾。So here's what we're told. We're told that we have a number in this form, two to the k times p, and what we're looking for is the sum. Of the divisors of this number, divisors meaning the factors. All the factors of this number will have to take the sum of all of those, and then we express this sum in this form. Now, we're only interested in the first part of this, and the second part of this number. Okay, so the the sum of all the factors of two to the k times p, the sum of all those. Can be expressed as a product of this number here, some number a minus one, and this number here, one plus some number b. Okay, and the factors that we're talking about, the divisors, they include one, clearly, and of course we are also including the number itself. Now we just、uh, have to notice that well, because we're looking for some number a and b, and we don't really have an an actual number here. We we just have A number that is determined by two other variables, k and p, that means that a and p, b they will be in terms of k and p as well. So this one, a and b, they're going to be a function of k and p. Okay. So we're going to expect from our answers, we're going to expect from our solution answers that contain the variables k or p. Okay, or both. Okay. So now、uh, let's. Look a little bit more closely about these variables k and p. What is k? K, the only restriction on k is that k must be a positive integer. Okay, just natural number, a counting number, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. And what about p? P is again a natural number, but it is a prime number. Okay, and this prime number must be greater than two. Remember that two is also a prime number, but、uh, for p. P has to be greater than two, and it has to be prime. So it could be three, five, seven, eleven, and so on. Okay. So these are numbers that do not have any other factors, do not have any other divisors, other than itself and one. Okay. So that's P. Now, how do we solve this? Well, actually, it's pretty intuitive. We just list down the divisors of the number. And let's try to find patterns. Why do we need to find patterns? Because we want to add all of them, and if we find some patterns in the divisors, it might be easy to to find a sum for them because we we know some formulas that actually allow us to take sums and all that, right? So we might be able to to force them into that form, and、um, might be easy for us to find something like this, right? Like this, for example. Okay, so let's do that. First, let's list down all the divisors. Now,、uh, the divisors or the factors.、Uh, the, if you look at this, you can actually think first about this first part here. What are the divisors of this part, right? So, because it's just going to be the divisors of this part and the divisors of this part, okay? And you take combinations of those, and and、uh, those are all your divisors for this entire number, okay? And also notice that actually we only have two prime factors here. That's two. And p, remember that p is prime. So there are no other prime factors here. You've got only two and p. And now we just have to list those down. Okay, everything that comes into the number. So if we start with a two to the k, so we actually have two to the zero, which is just one. Then we do two to the one, two to the two, two to the third, and so on, up until two to the k. Okay, these are all factors, right? You cannot have two to the k plus one because Well, if you try to divide this thing with two to the k plus one, you can't, right? You, you're two to the k plus one. You're gonna get some some remainder, or maybe two to the k plus one is greater than、uh, this number. So, yeah, we 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 only have up to two to the k. And then now that that's settled,、uh, this one only has p, right? And we said the all the prime factors. All the factors of this number is actually just a combination. So、uh, we combine this with just p. There's only p. So two to the zero times p, two to the first times p, two to the second times p, and so on, up until two to the k, 
2 to the k times p. So we've actually listed down all the prime factors of this number. Okay, so hopefully you're convinced, but if you're not, uh, try to work on it a little bit more, okay? And, and try to convince yourself that this is in fact an exhaustive list of all the prime factors, or rather all the factors, the divisors of this number. Now, when you're convinced of that, all we need to do is just add them all together, okay? We can actually add the first part together, and we also add the second part together. And we notice that actually the second part is just the sum of the first part times p, okay? So in fact, if we try to add the first part here, you're gonna get this. And if you try to add the second part and factor out the p, we're gonna get this. Now, this is a very good form because we know what this is. And this, that is the geometric series with the common ratio two. And the first term, the first term is two to the zero, okay? So in a geometric series, when you, when you get the sum, we already know how that is. You're gonna have to get the first term times this quantity here, this quantity where the numerator is one minus two raised to the number of terms. Uh, two here, because this is the common ratio. So this is actually one minus R to the however number of, how many terms you have in your series here, okay? So we have one to K, so there are K of those, plus the zero here, so there are K plus one of those, okay? And in the denominator, we just have one minus whatever is the common ratio, in this case, two, okay? So you see, this is just one, and here is negative one. So uh, what we get is the negative of the numerator. So just put that. And just to make things easier, we can actually just uh, put the negative, distribute the negative sign in here. And uh, we're gonna get this, okay? They're just gonna switch positions in there. Now, this is this series. That means we can replace this thing here with this one. We can also replace this thing here with this one. Okay, let's do that. So this is what we get, right? The P remains and we just have this. Now we can actually factor this out, right? Because they're common, okay? So when we factor that out, okay, we get that factor. And here we got one, right? This, this times one. And here we have P times this. So what we're left is this factor factored out. And here we got one, so that's one. And here we got P, that's P, okay? This is what we get. And that's very, if not exactly the same as the form that we are being asked about, okay? So that form, we just, we just try to, to compare them, okay? The first part says something minus one. Do we have that? Yeah, that's, we have that, something minus one. Second part says one plus something. Yes, we have that one plus something. And by just comparing, we can immediately say that A here is actually this first part and B is actually this first part. And so th these are the answers we're looking for. If you learned something new today, please help my channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell for the notifications. See ya.